Welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel. That is the R in the RK Stumbling Bear, and I am a reader and a writer. Today, I am here for the first part of my September TBR, and that is because I'm going to be participating in two readathons, but I wanted to talk about the books in different videos. I've known for months that I was going to participate in Space Opera September. Space Opera is my favorite genre of science fiction, and I had a lot of fun doing it last year for the round two, or the, for the second part of round one. So for the past few months, I've been creating the list of the space operas I'm interested in, getting like things out from my library, just so I could have books that fit the prompts. And then this round took me by surprise with the book battles and buddy reads. And yes, there were ways to complete this round, even if you didn't want to, but I thought, why not? I'll try being a little bit social. And I had a lot of fun reading the Discord as people were uh, challenging each other to book battles and watching people say, you know, I'm interested in buddy reads. And I've ended up doing four buddy reads. So, yeah. And this is the first time I've ever done a buddy read outside of when my sister and I read Harry Potter as kids and my parents had to buy us our own copy so we could read it at the same time and we'd be in different rooms yelling back and forth about like, where are you in the book? So yeah, I'm excited. So one of my buddy reads is, there's three of us reading one, so I'm doing four buddy reads, which is four books, but I have five buddy readers. We're gonna go with that. Now I have not asked my buddy readers if I could use their names, so I'm not, but I am going to say what books I'm gonna read. Obviously, that's the point of this video. So starting off on September 1st, The Galaxy and the Ground Within by Becky Chambers. This is the purported last book in the Wayfarer series, and it's about a, essentially it's a truck stop in space. Some things happen and people are stranded there as they're waiting to get to their further destinations. And I really, I enjoy Becky Chambers writing. Her books don't always hit right away with me, but I've been on a kick of reading her stuff this year. And A Truck Stop in Space, how is that not perfect space opera? So also starting on the 1st of September, because this next book is a little chunky, is I am reading Revelation Space by Alistair Reynolds. This is something I tried starting earlier this year and I just didn't have the time. There are other books that were more interesting. So I think it's perfect that I'm, this is one of my focuses this month. Now it is a bit of a chunker. And so that's another reason why we're starting our buddy read on the 1st of September to give us plenty of time to get through this book. And I really don't know much about it, except this is a pretty popular space opera. That's, that's all I know. I'm looking forward to this this month. I guess I could look at the back. So the back of this is talking about an ancient civilization was destroyed and a scientist is searching and comes to find out they were destroyed for a reason. And I guess this is going to have more implications for the rest of the universe and not just this one planet. So yay, Revelation Space. And then the next book I have, I'm planning to read in the middle of September. And I'm actually planning to read this while I'm on my vacation. As long as COVID stays calm, I will be going somewhere else for my vacation. If not, it's going to be a staycation and then thus will be very simple to finish this book. But the book I have chosen, or that we have chosen, is Velocity Weapon by Megan O'Keefe. I am in the middle of reading her Scorched Continent series, so I already know I enjoy her writing. I'm very interested in reading this. I've heard great things about it. Um, from what I've heard, it's about two siblings who get separated by space and time. And so it's a dual kind of timeline. And yeah, that's all I know so far. And then my last buddy read is actually another chunker as well, but we haven't set a specific time period. 
and that is Caliban's War by James S.A. Corey. Somebody was like, hey, I'm interested in reading this, and I went, I have that on my shelf. Let's go ahead and do that. But I am con looking forward to continuing with this series. I'm excited that I enjoyed the first one as much as I did since I bounced off the TV show, which I know is probably a controversial thing to say, but yeah, did not get into the TV show, so I was hesitant to get into the series, but I'm enjoying it really so far. All right, so that's all I have for my Space Opera September TBR. If you want to see what else I'm reading, go watch the next video.